All right. Uh, so this next little one, we're just going to have a look at uh, horizontal aid climbing again, but this time with mobile or removable anchors. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, so I'm getting close to the beam that I need to move across, uh, but to make it a bit easier, I just need to get myself jugged up a little bit higher. So, so my first little step there, I've just got my descender up level with the beam up there. Uh, I'm going to end up with three slings, all placed pretty much exactly the same as this one you know, is. So I've got two more here, here with me. Let's throw those on. So there's the second one on. And we'll just get a third one on. Okay. So, it's a mobile aid climb, removal anchors, because these are my anchors that I'm going to use for my cow to go into, and I can move them and or remove them uh, you know, as needed. Okay, so now that I've got my three anchors, if you will, we're going to get our cow's tails. So again, I've got a cow's tail with a foot loop, so that's on the left-hand side of my harness, so let's throw that on my left-hand side uh, you know, anchor there. Get these ropes out of the way. I've got my second foot loop on another cow's tail, so let's just get that one on the opposite side there. And then a third cow's tail. And what I want to do with this one, very similar concept to the uh, fixed A climb. We're gonna make this one nice and short by running that up, that up into my crawl. But one slight difference to that, I've actually got the cow's tail through my chest ascender just nice and close to the actual barrel knot on it. So there's my three cow's tails set up on my three slings or three anchors there. And then my next step from here, we can just transfer across to the aid climb. No more weight on the descender, let's remove the rope from that. Get the ASAP out of the way as well. Now what I want to do from here, as well just check the length of the foot loops in a moment, just make sure that it's going to put me at a decent height to make this work. So let's go a bit shorter with these ones. So what I find is a workable height with the foot loops for myself. Uh, when I stand up in these foot loops I've got my face just sort of up around where the beam you know, is that I'm going to be aid climbing along. Okay so that's pretty much sorted. Um, nice and easy. The order that I've got everything set up in is not going to change. Okay, so now that I've uh, reached an obstruction in the way, this is why they call it movable or removable anchors. We can take a sling off from one side, flip it over the other side, get that reattached. Again, do the carabiner up. Okay, and we just move one at a time, uh, doing exactly the same thing. So, first one's over, bit of a gap there, so I can slot the next two in. So I'm going to pre-open the middle one there. Now I'm going to stand up. The thing that helps is having my arms around the outside of the slings, just so I've got two hands free uh, to work with. And then I can just bring that last one in. Okay, so moving one at a time, get past an obstruction. Moving through here, it's just a matter of lifting your legs up so you can move your, uh, your, your outside slings along and then standing up a little bit just to slide that middle one along, okay? If we hit another obstruction, same thing again. Let's just move one at a time, okay? First slings moved across, done up again, enough of a gap in between there. Let's get the middle one moved across. 
stand up, pop the end of the sling off, flip that over to the other side. Okay, you can sit down to that, nice and easy. And then bring our final one across again. Okay, and again, much like a lot of the other bits and pieces we do, it's just getting that pattern established and we just keep repeating that. Okay. Right on. Huh?